stomach rovers. A win would take rovers to the top of the table while supporting just one win in six league matches. It was a case of trying to get back to winning out of England Gunner. Liam Buckley was forced into a defensive reshuffle with Sean Marr unavailable due to the first of his son. Sean Williams took over his position and Captain Darvan and Stewart nearly took advantage from Paddy Cameron across. The home side held the upper hand for the majority of this one and the midfield dominance was a major factor. Shane McFall broke forward in search of a breakthrough. That breakthrough wasn't long in coming, however, and Fingal were ahead in the 11th minute. The ever-reliable Conan Byrne got forward down the right. The cross evaded Gary O'Neill, but Eamon Zayed showed a killer instinct, and his gamble at the back post paid dividends with a 7th league goal of the season. Rovers boss Michael O'Neill pinpointed a flat atmosphere as one of the reasons for his side's sluggish start, and Fingal looked to make their advantage count. Alex Kirby unable to profit from Robbie Bailey Derrer. Somewhat against the run of play, Rovers got their equaliser. Craig Simmons neat half volley powering past Darren Quigley in for a rare start from the big goal goal. Sporting regained their lead five minutes after the restart. Alamanis, who recently attracted a degree of interest from Doncaster, not covering himself in glory from running the fin shot, Gary O'Neill on hand to capitalise. O'Neill is making his first start since returning from injury. O'Neill was instrumental in Fingal's next chance. Neat one-touch football. Zayed clearly watched the Maori on Thursday. His finish not matching the event of striker, however. Sporting appear to be cruising at this point, passing at ease and making Rovers chase. But rule number one in the defender's handbook is to never, ever hand possession to Gary Twig, because without a second invitation, he will do this. Rovers fans now clearly enjoying their trip to their old stomping ground out the Santry. Clearly rocked, Sporting coughed up another within three minutes. Struggling to clear the danger, the ball eventually fell to Stephen Rice. Darren Quigley though, you feel he could have done better. Not to take care. But there was time for further drama in this gripping encounter. Ronan Finn got forward. The shot reasonably well struck, but goalkeeping error is the order of the day. No surprise, the ball found its way into the net. Now wasn't that fantastic, Mr. Fox? Fingal might well have won it. Rovers have had their hearts broken down the years by a ginger fox in the box, but Kenny Brown isn't Glenn Crow, and the score mended three all. The Rovers run a four straight league defeat brought to a halt.